Hey, good morning everyone. Uh, Nifty Thrifty Girl here this morning spotlighting a vintage white model 5135. Beautiful, beautiful two-tone blue machine as you can see. It's um, a darker blue on the bottom with a baby blue on the top. This is one of the tanks. 1.3 amp motor, all metal, weighs about 30 plus pounds all by itself serviced as all of our machines are, tabletop ready, or you can put it in a um, Singer cabinet or carrying case. Um, it shares the same dimensions. Basic zigzag machine. Um, stitch width adjustment is here. Stitch length reverse. Three level feed dogs. Bob and winder on the wheel. Pretty simple. Built in light. Class 15 bobbin on the end which means it is not double needle capable. Um, the uh, left homing needle machine, that means that when it's in straight stitch, the needle will be against the left side of the presser foot opening. Low shank, standard low shank machine, any low shank attachment or presser foot will fit. 15 by 1 needles up to size 18. The needles and the bobbins are standard. Um, PDF copy of the manual will be sent after purchase. It does come with this little quick start guide for this um, particular machine. It, it has um, a basic threading guide, how to put the bobbin into the bobbin case, and lays out your features of the machine. It's just a little quick start guide. Um, tells you how to take the bobbin case apart. But if you want an instruction manual in more detail, I can send that as well, and that will be in PDF copy. Bobbins come with it, um, a little needle holder slash magnifying glass for threading, a low shank, straight stitch foot, and adjustable zipper foot. So you get a couple feet with it, and you can always find the standard attachments on eBay for a little bit of nothing. Just make sure that you get um, low shank. Greist attachments are a good thing. It, they'll ha sometimes have an adapter foot with a whole bunch of different attachments like hemmers and an edge stitcher and stuff like that. So just keep an eye on eBay and they're not hard to find at all. Nice, smooth, cosmetically this machine is very pretty. You don't see blue machines too often so if you're someone that likes to have a unique and different machine this would fit your forte. Smooth quiet. Um, the cords are in good shape. It does plug into a foot. The machine has its own cords and it has a light plug and a motor plug. So if the cord, if the foot goes bad, you don't have to trash the machine and it does take a standard um, two plug receptacle uh, foot pedal. So, you know, if you do find that the that the foot pedal goes bad at some point, it is so easy and pretty inexpensive to replace. What's nice about these vintage machines, you don't have to go out and buy a um, proprietary cord. You know, like electronic machines always have your funky pins and all this. So maybe your your power cord for your machine might cost forty dollars, fifty dollars, but with these vintage machines that doesn't happen. You can always find a universal power cord. Here's your zigzag, as you can see it's chugging right along. And I am going to run real quick and grab a piece of denim because I forgot. Okay, well, I don't have any denim cut, darn it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some cotton 
like I'm sewing right now, and I'm just going to fold it and fold it and fold it, and you're going to see that this all-metal machine does very good on multiple layers. So that's what I'm going to do, because I don't have any denim cut. I thought I did. Apologize for that. Um, I'm just going to take some cotton, just a regular, and I've got two layers, and I'm just going to fold the heck out of it. So there's four, six, eight, ten, twelve layers of cotton fabric. I'm using a size 16 needle. And you know, you don't want to go full speed when you're doing thick projects. I mean, your machine can handle it, but you can't go like speed racer because you're going to break a needle. I mean, it's it's inevitable. You need to give your machine time to do its work. And this machine is by no means an industrial machine. It is a heavy-duty, all-metal household machine that will outwork and outlast anything that you go buy off the shelves today. And that's, you know, that is the truth. Industrial strength is not the truth. We do not sell our machines as industrial strength because they are not. So you can go to another seller and pay three times as much for this machine, but it doesn't change a machine just because they say industrial strength. There's no different motors or anything on them. Perfect. I know it's kind of hard to see in the video, but perfect little straight stitch on this 12 layers of cotton. So, she will chug along on heavier duty projects. But that is the vintage 1.3 amp white domestic model 5135.